we celebrated our honeymoon. We were, we were originally supposed to get married in 2010, but we both focused on our careers for a few years. And we went to South Africa. That was supposed to be our original honeymoon. She actually believed you. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. We're honored to have you here. Thank oh, you thank very much. Thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the other part of our recognition tonight um, is the Risk and STEM Challenge. Those kids will be arriving uh, probably sometime about 8 or 9. Okay. Yeah, sure. They're on a field trip. So they said they come in the and we must return from the field trip early to stand in front of the Board of Education. All right, public participation. The Board, what? No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. The uh, Board welcomes public participation and asks the speakers to be limited for comments to three minutes. Speakers being offered objective comments on school operations and programs that concern them. The board will not commit any expression of personal complaints or declaratory comments about the Board of Education personnel or students, or against any person connected with the Denver Public School System. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak? Goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Going, going, done. Um, South Sahani. Um, so they won't be back. We're not going to see the rest of the course continue tonight. I'm sorry. They'll be here next week or two weeks from now. Oh, no, they won't. The school is out by then. Already, I have consent calendar. Pat? That the Board of Education approve the items on the consent calendar as recommended 14 131 through 14 136. Second. Second by Gladys. All in favor. Any questions? Discussions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Okay, the next is? I'm sorry? Thank you. It goes through grants also. I'm sorry, I have to amend that through 14 137. I'm sorry, that's it. Okay. Sorry. All right, thank you. Are there? I see an employee representative. Would anyone like to speak? Thank you. Taking my point of personal privilege this evening. There you go. Is it on? Um, I just wanted to come and thank you personally. My term ends July 15th, not soon enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but um, I thank you uh, for the open communication. I thank you for the time at board meetings to speak. Um, it truly has been a privilege to uh, represent 800 plus teachers whom I think Denver has a fabulous, fabulous teaching staff. Um, and so I thank you and you will see Sam Buck who is the current vice president uh, from Derbury High School is taking over as president, and Kathy Berman uh, from Hayes Town will be the vice president. So have a wonderful summer. It's been nice to have you here also. Thank you. All right, Ashley. Yeah, sorry, that we went down. And presentation is here. Um, Carol, we need to speak for us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Otherwise, I get yelled at. Thank you for asking me to talk about grants. Um, so um, I put together just a brief outline of what we're presently doing. So I'm just going to read from my notes here. Um, basically, what our current focus is. Um, right now is uh, the PTEC type program, um, early college initiative. Um, and we're working with uh, Naugatuck Valley Community College and the Connecticut State Board of Regents. I know that Dr. Sal has brought this up at other board meetings um, and Albert Schneider is also helping us with the initiative. So um, this is gonna be a fantastic uh, development uh, tool for us as we as we proceed and get underway, um, and, and we get the uh, PTEC type uh, small learning communities developed, um, there'll be uh, other opportunities for us to um, get funding other than other than grants, um, because as you know, there's a lot of tools in the in the funders toolbox. So these uh, these activities, I think, will also tie into a social media strategy for the school. Um, that we could look forward to and possibly even bring the PTOs uh, into those activities, give them a little jump start. Um, but the first step, of course, is to develop a culture of, uh, 
of, of, of giving, uh, you know, to give uh, people a reason to give. So, uh, so that's really our, our present focus. Is the, we've been having a lot of PTAC type meetings. Uh, the second um, grant that I'm working on right now is a full service community school grant. Uh, and we're I'm working on that with Ian uh, Mead uh, in partnership. That's due next week. Uh, Ian and Dave uh, Kraksik are primarily the, the lead writers on that grant. And um, the third grant I'm working on is the TQP um, STEM Math Partnership. Um, Dr. Bless is uh, helping uh, Katie O'Callaghan from uh, WestCon. <coughs> uh, and we, uh, we have the data to support the grant applications so we can move forward with that. Um, and that'll be with uh, WestCon, uh, Danbury High School, and the New Westside Middle School Academy. So we had to, some of these grants uh, are very specific in their eligibility criteria, um, but we managed to, uh, to meet that for this Teachers Quality Partnership Grant. Um, we've had some incoming funding, uh, which was, has been exciting. Um, Dr. Glass was instrumental in um, garnering $25,000 for the teacher cadet program that we work on with Western Connecticut uh, mm -hmm. State University. And uh, Pitney Bowes um, has made a uh, donation. We don't know how much yet. We're waiting for the checks. Um, and there's uh, two programs, the School Readiness Program and the Family Literacy Center. So there'll be two separate donations uh, coming in. Uh, and also, I've been meeting with uh, the folks from the Fairville County Community Foundation, and I have a, a good contact there, and uh, they want to increase their footprint in the Danbury area, so that's good news. Um, they'll be focusing on the PTEC type programs, and as you know, the Fairville County Community Foundation is a consortium of donor advised funds, so this, this could be very exciting for us. Uh, they're also interested in learning more about our teacher cadet program, possibly funding the student for a year. So they've asked us to apply a uh, January 2015 cycle for the program. Uh, outstanding grants that we are that are pending, uh, hopefully approval because they, they equal eight million dollars. But um, and uh, our uh, the I3 grant, that's Ann's grant, is about 5.9 million. Uh, National Science Foundation, that's Frank LeBanca's grant, that's about 1.5 million. Uh, for blended learning. And then uh, Anna Rocco has the uh, Connecticut State Department um, grant for 15000 for parent engagement attendance grant. And then we have a small ING grant, ING grant for about 2000 So all those are pending. We should hear by the end of the year, hopefully sooner. Um, so when, when we look at our grants as they come across my desk, because we've had uh, had a lot of them come through in the last couple of months. There's just been a flood from the uh, from the federal uh, government. And what we do is, I uh, usually I'll reach out to whoever would be the lead contact on that. And I always have Bill in the loop and, and Dr. Sal on 99.9% of them. And uh, we check for feasibility. Are they feasible? Time, resources. Uh, we assess the situation. Is it something we can complete in the required time? And then we make a determination from there. So, you know, there are many grants that come across my desk, um, and some, sometimes we have to turn them away. Um, and uh, I, I think uh, what we're going to be working on uh, over the summer is going to be to try to put together a breakfast, a chamber breakfast, um, so that we can uh, have Dr. Sal talk a little bit more about the PTAC type programs. Um, because we want to try and inspire uh, companies you know, in the region uh, to work with, with us, not only in, from a financial perspective, but also with our students. So we need to find a way to sort of jumpstart that initiative. Um, so it's, it's an organic process, um, and I think we've done a lot in a short period of time. So, uh, does anyone have any questions about the grants? Can you give some details on the, the, the grant you mentioned, the 5.9? as far as the, uh, just the parameters of it or the conditions? Uh, it's an I-3 grant. Dr. Sell probably knows more about the I-3 grant. It's an innovation grant. Development, it was a development grant, I-3 innovation development. We work with the early childhood and have the school programming, um, interventions, things of that nature. 
I'm not. There was only one issue last year in Connecticut that oh, received it, just one out of all the applicants, and that happened to be for Lake Connections, which is mm -hmm. you know, our region, which was kind of interesting. I'm, I'm hopeful that we can get something out of it. It's, it's a difficult grant to, to, to get. Or, but that's, it'll be working with Ann and all the programs that we have that are early childhood programs. The real thing, then, I, I think that, as I mentioned, is development. Uh, she's trying to develop connections with people who have resources. Mm -hmm. And if we can resonate with their goals and what they're trying to you know, put into their organization, then we're trying to get a match up and say, we have that here. You know, so you know, if we get, if, as we talked about, if we could get you know, some of the programming that we have, um, subsidized by the grants that just helps us with moving forward. And last week we had a conversation where the grantees now would like to endow, they'd like to say, I'm just going to use an example, we will pay for this, that maybe, let's say all the side approaches, or all of this, um, and at the beginning we look at that, which is good for us, because then we can quantify it and show it and see if they'll support it and what they'll commit to. So I mean, so her time has been spent doing that, meeting with various groups, trying to make those connections. So we're hopeful that some of it will be, 50% of it will pay off. That will really be helpful. So. And she works closely with Joe in terms of the budgets <coughs> uh, and Bill, obviously. The community service grant, do you know about how much that's for and what time period and also briefly what does it cover? So the full service community grant uh, with uh, Ann Weed uh, and Dave um, yeah, so the funding range on that was two seventy-five to five hundred thousand. Um, I'm not sure what number they have come to. They're still working on that. Um, I think it was a four. It was either four or five-year term. Um, and I think that uh, they're looking at it from more of a medical perspective of um, using Dave's school. Which school is that? Dave and Park Avenue School and um, bringing in the dental care and medical services uh, into that school. With the, the, the fact that it would be physically located in the school, would it be open to all the children in the district? Uh, I'm not getting that, that. I'm not hearing that. No, I think so, it's... Sorry. It's just right, right. Yeah, it's just that school. It would just be specific. We would like for it to be the district, but it's yeah. not. Okay, thanks. Any questions? Any comments? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Foley. 
Dr. Glass, could you please re review just as far as the in front of students, the timeline and the, amount, the, the increased amount that this new calendar represents? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Be happy to. Sure. Um, we, we've gone back, as the board knows, based on feedback from the board and listened to as many people as have come forward. And the argument that we've been talking about is trying to get more continuity to the calendar. And so parents could plan on a particular day of uh, the month and at the same time trying to get uh, more instructional time for kids. So at the elementary level, with the calendar that you have in front of you, not counting the December 23rd of your dismissal, you left that as is, it would give us 160 additional minutes um, for the K-5 schools. At the middle school, same thing, not counting 1223, it would give us an additional 240 minutes. At the high school, because we, what we did with the, yeah, I'm sorry, it's, it's, that's off to my mind. Let's be giving my son. <laughs> at, the high, at the high school, because of the work that we did with the uh, midterm and final exams, we're picking up a whopping 1,560 minutes, and, which is what we had hoped to do with you know, recouping the time from those exams. So quick recap, elementary, 160 minutes, middle school, 240 minutes, high school, 1,560 minutes. Thank you. Yeah, you just take a second and look at the lower right quadrant. You know, and listening to everything, putting the calendar together, you need some goals to guide us. And what we've tried to do is exactly as Bill said, and I'm going to put it right on the calendar, to increase as many contiguous days, to avoid the multiple Fridays within one week, you know, that concept, when we can. Some years it's a little difficult because of religious holidays, okay? Create a pattern for parents. They, they didn't like the idea of dismissal, we all know that, but they said we're going to do something. If you can do it on the same day, it's certainly helpful for family planning. And uh, to conduct PD early release days, October and May, and try to avoid the June and September. So, you know, we're back to school, get to work, and then in June, you know, that's kind of a crazy month. So that's, that doesn't negate the fact that we're going to meet on those Tuesdays. It's just that we're going to not have the dismissal time. Because the people still need the time to do the work. They'll just be absent that extra hour. That's the, that's the difference. That we're going to do. So we think we can do the work and then uh, we'll go from there next year. All right, are there any other questions? Any other comments? Just a comment. Uh, I certainly would like to thank Dr. Glass and uh, our superintendent for really going back, taking a, a second look at this and um, you know, making sure that we get the extra time. And, and we all had talked about the uh, making sure that we give more time for teachers in front of students. And I certainly appreciate you redoing this. That goes unsaid. Thank you, Sam. I see none, no other comments. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstentions? Objections? Thank you, Sam. students come forth and explain what they've learned on the trip. I mean, generally, we go through this, and it's not until the following year when they come up for a new trip, a renewal of a, of a trip to that country that they say, oh, last year we had a great time. So it'd be nice for us to, to, to bloat, you might say, in their envy in, in having this trip, but also the importance as to what they learned. Sure. So you may pass it on to you. Oh, I think they would relish that. They would love to do that. Yeah, but, you know, remember, we're not saying you know, we're just saying that you go. Okay. Oh, okay. So there are leading to us. I'll go on the trip, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
we, I'm kind of just thinking about it, just so you know. All right. All right. Um, do we vote? No. No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstentions? Objections? It passes. Thank you. That the Board of Education accepts the following school construction projects as complete and authorizes the Superintendent of Schools to certify and execute the following ED049F forms for Roberts Avenue School, a.k.a. Ellsworth, Rogers Park Middle School, Stadley Rough School, Roof Replacement, Danbury High School Window Replacement in accordance with 14-142. Second. Seconded by Bob Harrison. All in favor? Oh, I'm sorry, any questions or comments? Seeing none. I'd just like to thank the people involved uh, for the work that uh, went on. Now I'm very pleased with the, the presentation before the Sites and Facilities Committee. I mean, making everything understandable to someone like me. you just like the rest of the stuff. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Objections? Sessions. Moving on. Mr. Uh, Dr. Pesper. Real quick, the PTAC, you heard Carlin talking about that. I bring it up to keep it in front of you. We met, uh, we being the uh, district uh, representatives, along with uh, another talk we were here last week and talked more. Everybody's really, I can't express how excited everyone is about it from the university um, to, our, uh, to our personnel. And the next step for us is to look at the um, whether or not we can uh, we can execute a grant that we're in line for of a half a million dollars. That money um, would have to come around and call us around they call redesign for the secondary. And the PDEC, PTEC uh, fits into that design. Uh, it sounds as though very definite they're looking at bricks and mortar or reorganization. And uh, we're, we're going to take a walk with the architects of, from next Tuesday or thereabouts yes, at the high school uh, to look at the general additions and then we're going to look at some possibilities of uh, designing um, some space there in uh, one of the annex buildings that we have which is our automotive shop to see if in fact that would uh, help us out so uh, we're excited about that we um, have started as a pilot next year the uh, programming at the high school for juniors and seniors uh, the PTEC, as you know, are really beginning of freshmen and they're clusters, so that's a big difference. And we're hoping that uh, we can present something to the board and also to the state for possible funding. Uh, there we were supposed to do a presentation on Friday uh, to know what we're about this uh, because there are many districts that are very interested in it. So I just want to keep in front of it, so that's why it's here. Excellent. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Alright, I need to bring this word up. Uh, for information, Dr. Bless, is that you? I'm sorry. That's the calendar. The 15-16 um, the calendar design here with just major holidays, right. if you take a look at it. And that's primarily for planning purposes, particularly for families and those that are looking at and that we're calling about when your holiday is going to be. This 15 and 16, you may recall, we weren't going to do anything with it because that was going to be a required regional calendar. They moved that ahead to another year. Let's we'll see what happens. Which means next year, we are moving one, two years after that, that is going to be the required um, regional calendar, unless it's uh, switched. And I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But at any rate, this is just off information. It follows the principles pretty much what we talked about before. It does not have in it any of the dismissal kinds, because as promised, we're going to get some feedback on those Tuesdays just to so see how it's working. Uh, and then we'll put in any any of those PD days at that time when we have some time to look at it. This is just information for the major holidays. Okay, thank you very much. Right. All right, um, the board chairperson um, doesn't really have a report to, so to say, because we've all seen one another almost every day for the last two weeks. So we've all heard everything that I need to say. Um, I do want to stress all of the things that are coming up, all the graduations next week. Um, um, the middle school promotion ceremonies are on Thursday the 19th, and they will be held at Denver High School in the auditorium, Rogers Park at 2 and 5 to 5. So if you can just 
participate in one or more event, participate, come. If you just let them uh, let them know if you're coming or me, uh, so that they can tell the principals and so that they are aware of who's going to be in the audience. Uh, Derry High School, of course, is on Tuesday. There is nothing on Wednesday. Um, Friday is King Street. King Street has, uh, um, it's, how, what, does somebody have the time? So I don't have my book. It's early, it's early on Friday. Um, and it goes back to back so that it both, five, all, all the five grades go. Uh, it's three, and I think they have six classes, if I'm not mistaken, because there's six, six different teachers I'm talking to my diploma. And um, so that's Friday. Uh, this Friday, that we didn't get a notice, but I happen to know someone that's graduating. Kindergarten in South Street is graduating um, uh, at uh, 8 30 in the morning. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. I'm um, What else? Um, and Ace. And we have Ace. Ace is Tuesday. Whatever we do, let's not forget the Ace at 9 30 in the morning. And the nighttime one, and I'm going to say this because we haven't had a lot of conversation. I am not going to the nighttime one this year. However, if you ever, any of you that are, especially people that are, uh, have not been on the board as long as, as some of us, ever want to find out what this is about, you need to attend the nighttime graduation. Uh, the, the one that during the day is in the morning is nice. Um, and you find out a little bit about it. But you're still wondering, why did they call the teachers by the persons? Why did they do this? Why did they do that? Go to the nighttime graduation and see what really goes on in between the faculty and the students at least. Because that's where you find out what makes this what it is. Okay? Um, there's a dinner. You do not have to attend the dinner. Um, they've separated this year. Um, if you have any questions, just give me a call or get a call. And I'll explain it all to you. It's really worth your while uh, to go because it's it's when you see what they do. Uh, it's the only way you'll really find out. That's right. by the way. That's June sixteenth. And that is the Tuesday. Before. No, that's, no, that's, a, that's the Monday, Monday, Monday before yes. this coming right. before the Tuesday graduation of the high school. The average high school. Yeah, next month. Okay, so we graduation the at, at the high school. We need to be parked and in. In the, in the staging area by four o'clock. Got it? Because at, at, they let those parking spaces go, and unless you live with Richie Bolly, you're parking in the woods. <laughs> okay, I happen to know where he lives, so I just park there. Okay, what else? All is well. That's my whole report, other than it's just been a ball. Okay, um, moving on. All right, we have a motion uh, to be charge. Uh, oh, does anybody have a copy before we do this? Because we're not going to have a chance to do this after this next session. Um, anybody have any report from your schools or from your from your organizations that you go to? I just had a great, great point. I like the new new board last uh, last week. Oh, did it? Yeah, a new uh, detail board. Oh, um, okay. And they have a new uh, citywide uh, rep who's going to be representing uh, from the citywide meetings. Cool. Anybody else have any reports? Except the first PTO meeting, I think they decided to have it at the West Side Academy. I think it's done right. Right, that, that's the what we, we talked about when we were there. We try to, we're trying to get more people. To, I was at a citywide meeting also. And uh, I think they're trying to get more people involved in the citywide because a lot of people still don't know what, it, what they are and you know how valuable it is. So doctors, one of the parents suggested uh, have it there to see the place and get more people out. Uh, you're going to try refreshments. I mean, that always gets me somewhere, so that's good. Um, yeah. But other, other than that, I mean, uh, they discuss. I don't know, is that, is that going to be able to happen? Or, or? Yeah. Oh. yeah we, we should be, um, briefly though, we, we think um, when are we going to take the um, occupancy of uh, the West Side Academy? Was, they gave us a date. July 15th. 15th. And the only one at this point that we think would be on that would be a park. And that would be sometime first, probably the first week or so. So, you know, August. So we should be ready. I think we should do one of every renovated school for the next. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Just to get people out. Um, as far as the participation in Citywide 13 years ago, um, nobody knew what was then do. Right. I mean, right. so it's not like it, it's a new phenomenon. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, do I have a motion 